temperature appears to be normal. And... Oh, oh my, I'm so sorry. I really truly apologize. I didn't mean to wake you up. Sorry for what? Well, for waking you. That wasn't my intention at all. M mumbling? Oh my. I suppose I do talk out loud to myself when I'm deep in research. <laughs> you see, I was going over some of my research, and it seems like I may have found the reason you haven't been able to sleep properly. I was just going over some of your readings, and making sure I was correct before I came to any conclusions. Hmm? Oh, yes, the reason. <laughs> so... Thanks to your cooperation in answering my post-experiment survey, my findings show that you may not have been reaching full REM sleep regularly. Do you remember what that is? We discussed it before we did the sleep test, but I understand if you've forgotten. You're right! So you know that this will not allow the brain to fully relax and is critical in a good night's rest. I have a hypothesis, but it will require some more research. This, of course, is completely dependent on you wanting to continue this experiment. I would never want to inconvenience you. And I completely understand if you're too busy. You are a very sought-after person here in Mondstadt, and in many other regions from what you've told me. You will? Hmm. I promise, we'll find the end cause and find a proper solution. You have my word. What does the experiment entail? Well, that's what I'm not entirely certain about yet. I have a few theories, but I'll need to run some personalized tests. Some are fairly simple, but some of my other hypotheses will give us a bit more trouble to test. I have to ask again, are you sure it's okay to do this? It may take quite some time, and I feel awful for keeping you. Well, if you're sure... Since this is now fairly uncharted territory, and this could definitely expand the medical knowledge that Mondstadt has, I'll ask Grandmaster Jean to set aside compensation for you. Will 250 more suffice? Or is that too little for your time? I understand if it is. I'm completely alright with further discussing higher rates if that's what you require. Ah, uh, I apologize for rambling. I get rather excited when a new experiment falls in my lap, but... It often gives me the jitters. Perhaps that'll be my next experiment. Hmm. Anyhow, let's begin with the current experiment. I'll need to look through what little information we have on the topic. Then we'll go over your vitals. This is a common procedure to assure that you're in good health before the experiment begins. May I begin? Excellent. Please bear with me. I don't work with others too often. This is the first set of experiments that involve a person that I've done in a long time. Though I will say, it's quite nice to have some company. <laughs> it's even nicer that you show interest in the process of the experiment and the results. Now, I'll need to read your temperature first. This is an oral thermometer. It goes under your tongue and gives me an internal temperature in just a few seconds. Just open your mouth for me, please. Hmm. As expected, your temperature is normal. We'll check your heart rate as well. The heart rate will tell us the rhythm of your heart along with the strength of your pulse. A normal pulse for a healthy adult ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. This, of course, fluctuates based on exercise, illness, emotions, and injury. You're very active from what I understand, correct? Yes, yes. I would almost categorize you as someone who, with the adventuring that you do, does cardiovascular conditioning. You have incredible stamina and are able to fight for quite some time. This means you are more likely to have a healthy heart. But, for the sake of experiments, I do need specifics, so I will need to check your pulse. I promise, it isn't anything extreme. I'll simply need you to give me your wrist. I'll firmly press my first and second finger to your arteries and begin counting. Are you ready? All right. One, two, 
Thank you. Multiply eighteen by four. Represent the season. Mm. Mm. Well, you are well within the range of healthy pulse. Excellent. I'll record this and then move on to the next test. Please just wait a moment. We're on to test number three, the respiration rate test. This tracks, as you may have guessed, the number of breaths a person takes per minute. I will need you to lay on your back and relax. While you do this, I will track the number of breaths that you take in one minute. But it's important to remain relaxed, or else the reading will be inaccurate. Is that all right with you? All right, we'll begin now. Keep going. This test is quite simple. But the caveat is that I have to be able to tell if you're struggling with any of your breaths. This can tell me if there's something wrong. Normal respiration rates for an adult at rest range is anywhere from 12 to 16 breaths per minute. You're sitting at 14. Allow me to look through my notes and determine the next test. There are only a couple more, so please relax. I left you a glass of water on your side table as well. So feel free to hydrate if you need. Okay, there's one more test that I can run, but I'm not sure if it's something that you're willing to try. Well, it hasn't exactly been tested on another person. I tried it myself, but I need more data to ensure that it even works correctly. I've asked many of the knights and even recruited Albedo's help, but he had to return to Dragonspine for a time-sensitive experiment. He hasn't been back since. It eventually went to the back burner in terms of importance, and has been forgotten since. But, if you can assist me in confirming its validity, that would be remarkable. You will? I truly thank you. Your contributions to the science of sleep will positively impact the population of Mondstadt's people. Allow me to retrieve it really quick. It's a bit heavier than I remember. It's rather sad that it was left forgotten for so long. I remember this machine when it was first conceptualized. It was a rather mundane day. Inspiration and another experiment pushed me to create this device. Since it hasn't been used in many, many months, I need to tighten up some of its hardware. After that, it should be working just as it did before. <sighs> we are up and running. I believe it's back to its former glory. Well, this machine not only reads your heart rate, it takes the information and with it calculates the stress levels based on its variability. The variable length of the time between each heartbeat is regulated by the body's autonomic nervous system. The less variability between beats equals higher stress levels, whereas the increase in variability indicates less stress. Does that make sense so far? All right, I'll use the straps with pulse rating pads to your wrists and one around your head. 
These will read the pulse from different points in your body and assure that we have an accurate reading. It will then read them and scan for small fluctuations in your heart's function. These fluctuations may link to age, body position, and even the time of day. That's an excellent question, and you're correct. We did already read your pulse, but since I couldn't seem to find anything in any of the other tests, this will possibly give us a better, more detailed analysis. At least, that's the hope. <laughs> I'll explain a bit more while I affix these to the specific points on your body. I'll first need your wrists. I is this all right? Is it too loose? Too tight? Okay, the last one will go around your head. I tried making it a bit more comfortable by adding some extra fabric to it, but I'm not sure how well it worked. Does that feel okay? If it's too uncomfortable, you don't have to go through with the test. It's completely fine. All right. I'll begin inputting data into this device's system, and in just a short while, we should see if everything works correctly. Ready? Please work, please work, please work. <gasps> oh, I'm seeing readings, though it's looking a little slow. I'm guessing because of its inoperation for so long, it's still working its way up to full power. Until then, allow me to explain what the device is currently doing. The pads attach to you and read your heart rate. From there, it's transferred to this, which analyzes patterns, processes the signals, and uses math to spit out useful insight and data about the person being tested. Oh, ah, I've been waiting so long to see whether or not this works correctly. I never thought I would see the day. Oh, this is incredible. Oh my, I need to record this data. This machine unfortunately has very small space for saving data and disappears within the first two hours. Oh. Oh, and please remain calm, or else the data won't be accurate. Huh. <laughs> I believe I found the problem. You have an inconsistent heart pattern. My hypothesis is that because of all of your adventuring, your adrenaline spikes at random points in the day, even without reason. If this is correct, that would mean... Oh my, I need to gather more field data to see if this correlation is correct. My guess is that symptoms like decreased energy levels, persistent fatigue, poor mood, and sleep issues may be linked to these spikes in adrenaline. The adrenaline is what I assume to be a natural response for the hypervigilance you gain while adventuring. Though after a while, it may start to seep into your everyday life. This may be something that many of the adventurers that currently are active may be suffering from. This is very important, and slightly alarming. Though, before I worry excessively, I will need to gather more data from different people within the same pool. I will have to call an important meeting and discuss this with the guild. I'm sure with you vouching for this device's safety, I can convince many of the adventurers in town to do a quick test. <gasps> I need to let Grandmaster Jean know right away. This study should include at least a few nights as well, since they see a fair amount of stress. Oh, so much to do. But it is very important. Though, before I'm even able to start that, I need to help cure this. At least for you, I'll be in contact with Barbara and see if there is something she's able to remediate. With her healing, I'm sure we can fix this. And I have to thank you. Without your kindness and willingness to volunteer, it may have been many, many more years before we found this device to be a success. I promise, we're gonna find a way to help alleviate this. 
Please, follow me. I'll take you to Barbara. And have you sleeping soundly in no time. <laughs> hey guys, this is Gentle GF. Thank you so much for watching. I've had quite a few people want a rerun of a sleepy time experiment with sucrose audio, so I was more than happy to do another. This is a continuation from the last one, so I hope you enjoy it. As always, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to provide some extra support, you can follow me on Twitter, Ko-fi, or check out some of my super cute merch! Again, thank you so much for watching, and have a good morning, afternoon, 